What the hell? Hello everyone, my name is Javer and welcome back to Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. I have no idea what the fuck happened, but anyways, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do Pastille's ending this time. In that case, hmm, even if you're human shaped and alive, you do look pretty delicious. <clears throat> Did you need me for something, Sai? No, I changed my mind. Go back upstairs. Oh, we have a guest! Made of candy? I'm not sharing, so don't even ask. Uh, okay. I'll just get back to work then. Good, alright, candy girl. Time to see what you're made of. Your insides are pretty realistic, though it doesn't seem like your organs actually function. You're 100% magic powered, aren't you? I think I know the details of my biolo biology. Hmm, does it hurt when I pull things out like this? Oh my god. No, I was not designed to feel pain. Do you know where the parts from your body came from? Because most of this candy looks like mine, except covered in gross magic. Hey, who made you anyway? That is a secret! Sorry to intrude, I brought you two some drinks. Oh, what are you doing?! Candy biopsy. Trying to figure out which part I want to eat first. Could you- How could you?! Sai, you can't just eat someone! She told me to. So if I told you to eat me, would you? That's different. No, it's not! Okay, I see your point. I get it, you're right. Even if she's made of candy, she's still a person. I won't eat her. I'm so glad you understand. No! Past Master Pastille! Why did you prevent me from fulfilling my destiny as candy? Master? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Please, just call me Pastille. Anyway, let's get you closed up so Syrup can get back to her work. Lots of candy to make today, right? I wouldn't have to if we just harvest her organs. That's not an option! Okay, look, I'm being nice enough to not eat her, but you know it's obvious where she came from, right? L what are you talking about? It was that rotten witch! You forgot to lock the place up last night and she left the skull in to uh, spy on us or something. That's one theory, I suppose. I mean, she's really suspicious, right? Hey, Candy Girl, what are you here for? My main objective is to get along with Syrup. See? Definitely a spy. Since I can't eat her, I want her out of here. Sure, no problem. Come with me, Miss Candy S Spy. Oh, I have been given a name! N no I was just... Whatever, let's go. Little while later... I still don't like it. I'm not hiring a spy, and she's not staying here. That's final. Spying is not a friendly thing to do. Exactly, which is why I've got to be pro proactive here. Sigh. We're taking her back to where she came from. Close up shop and follow me. Master Pastille, I do not understand one bit. I'm sorry, I wish you could stay here too. It'd certainly make things a lot easier. Oh well. Yeah, ho, Missy Charge. Tell the witch we have something of hers. What do we have? She's talking about you. Is this candy girl? Yeah. Looks very well made. Master would be interested. Yeah, yeah, just get her out here. So bossy, yeah. Hey, Master, your old pal, the Candy Alchemist, is here with something sweet, yeah. What? Don't lie to me, Toffee. She'd never bring me anything. Honest, yeah. Come see you for yourself. For yourself. <laughs> I'm dying inside. <laughs> oh my god, I actually am dying inside. Well, 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 I never thought I'd see the day where the great candy alchemist Syria personally brings me candy. Butterscotch. Let's see. Ooh, a life-size girl-shaped candy. It looks delicious. I am relieved to hear that. I was worried 
I didn't look tasty since Cinder refused to eat me. It's a lie? You forced to get your hands on a golem like this. Quit playing dumb. I know you made her to torment and or spy on me. You think that I... Oh. <laughs> well, yes, you're all done, Candy Alchemist. You're exactly right. I made this golem myself with my incredibly powerful magic. Meow, wow, Master. I can't believe you made something so sophisticated without me noticing. <laughs> Sorry. You shush. This is nothing. I can do higher level magic in my sleep. It doesn't count if you do it in a dream, yeah? That's not what I meant, and you know it! Are... Sai, are you sure you want to leave her with these two? My mind's made up. <sighs> I already told you, she's not staying with us. They made her, they can have her. Wait, you really brought it to give it to me? Just take your candy weirdo back and leave me alone. Huh? Come on, Pastille. Are we leaving? Sorry, you have to stay here. But how will I get along with Syrup? I... I promise to come visit you. I'm sorry. Sweet, free candy servant. How lucky for us... How lucky for us, nya. <sighs> Oof. The next day, Pastille checks in on the candy girl. Oh no. <gasps> Butterscotch has been diligently eating her away, leaving the poor golem in a miserable state. A very concerned Pastille confronts Syrup about the consequences of her actions. We can't let Butterscotch keep treating her so badly. Some of her limbs are missing. She looks so, so sad. Not my problem. Please, Syrup, I know you love shutting people out, but I'm really worried about her. Butterscotch won't listen to me. I need your help. Agree to help. Alright, if it's that important to save some lump of candy, I'll help you out. Thank you. Oh. Uh, wait. Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Wow! Wow, damn. Oof. She does look miserable. Hee hee hee. Every bite I take is more and more delicious. Candy this good must be a sin. Miss Butterscotch, if you continue eating that leg, soon I will not be able to walk anymore. Hey. How rude. You didn't even wipe your feet before barging in here, nya. Stuff it, cat. I'm taking back my golem. What? This thing was a gift. No take backs. Take backs? What are you, three? This isn't playground rules. I changed my mind about letting you keep this golem, so now we're leaving. That's that. Cheer up. Blech, you're all sticky. Sorry for letting that witch slobber all over you. Let's get out of here. You know, I I think you were pretty cool if it weren't for all the mean stuff you did to Master Nya. Yeah, well, you guys damaged my stuff, so guess we're le guess we're even. Later. Oh, I can't stand her. There's still so much left to eat. She can make her own candy. Why should why would she bully me like this? Maybe she only wanted a taste of that golem after your lips were on it. Indirect kiss... Indirect kisses, nya. <laughs> don't be gross, Taffy! Syrup took the candy girl back to her workshop and began replacing all the parts but her scotch had eaten away. It wasn't long before she was back to mint condition. They decided to leave her hair as it was after Syrup had mentioned it looked kind of cute. And so the golem... She does go kind of cute. Wow. Uh, she's not for sale. She looked genuinely surprised to see Gumdrop, but it could have been an act just to throw me off. I don't know anymore. I was planning on... Wait. Working with you! Lending you a hand running the storefront, maybe? Very funny. No joke, dude. You'd actually help with all the work you usually push off on me because you hate doing it? Is there something you want? Just to spend some time with my bestest buddy, Pastille. Come on, is that that weird? Is it that weird for me to take a break from candy making to help with the, can the candy store keeping, shopkeeping? Honestly, yes. Well, maybe I just want a little change of pace. 
Is it okay if I work with you for one afternoon? Your people skills are lacking. You never remember where any of the inventory goes, and whenever you clean anything, I always have to go over it a second time. Then make me better at all those things. I already had, I already made up my mind, so no more whining about what an awful job I do. Ah, <laughs> if you insist. Five minutes later. No, no, I told you not to put the gumballs next to the jawbreakers. Little kid might hurt themselves. So, their fault for not being an idiot kid. This is why we keep you in the basement. You're a danger to society. Little did you know, I've been poisoning the candy all along. I'm dangerous no matter where you put me. <laughs> Please don't judge a joke about that. It's going to haunt me with every sale we make. <laughs> That's hilarious. Sorry I bumped my mic. Yeah, yeah, since I'm already screwing up your precious shelves. Got anything else for me to clean instead? I got anything for me to clean instead? Thanks, the gumdrop soap. Everything's extra clean already. How about I make a list of the candies we're running a little low on, and you could just go back downstairs to... Stop, I get it. Let me finish this job the way you want me to at least. Then I'll be out of your hair. You actually put everything where it should go. I've never been more proud of you than in this moment, see? Sigh. Sorry. See, I can be helpful when I put my mind to it. Still glad you're in charge of all these things instead of me, though. <laughs> Let's just say the store would be in deep trouble if we traded jobs. I don't know the first thing about candy making candy. Um, speaking of candy, I wanted to thank you. What for? Even though you abandoned poor Gumdrop, you still went back and saved her from getting totally eaten up by Butterscotch. I think that was pretty nice of you. I know you didn't like it at first, but now you're letting her stay here, so thanks. Eh, I don't know, you're making it sound like I approve of her now. So, you'd still rather she wasn't around? In case she's trying to hurt my business, yes, I'd rather not endanger our store. But if she's not, then sorry I was wrong. Can you really blame me for being suspicious, though? No, of course not. I'm just glad to see that despite everything, you're finally letting someone in new into your life. More accurately, she'd busted in out of nowhere like a giant sugary pest. I didn't think I'd ever be annoyed by candy, but here we are. Oh, don't say that. She's a golem. That means all she can do is follow orders from her creator. Hmm, and what do you think those orders were? She hasn't stolen from us yet, but she could just be trying to gain our trust before the lethal strikes. Spending all your time worrying about how someone's going to betray you isn't a very good way to live your life. True, but I'm keeping my guard up for now. That's no way to make friends. I'm not looking to make any friends. I've already got you. Isn't that enough? Sigh, to be honest, I'm tired of watching you scare everyone off with your attitude. I know you're sensitive. I'm not sensitive. You're sensitive. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You just... Are you hungry? I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to go bring back some lunch. See ya. And she ran away. She always does. Oof. Shh, no we didn't. I was just about to come in and show off something incredible I made. It's ready at first, so I'm disappoint, disappoint, disappoint me, disappoint meow, disappoint. How do I say that disappoint meow? God. If only you came along to sandbag me and made your, make your stupid puns and just go home. Wait, if you only came along to sandbag me and make your stupid puns and just go home, I'm really proud of this. Ta-da! Her name is Matilda, see? Now we both have delicious magical miracles to do our bidding. You're joking, right? She may not be as big and lifelike as your golem, which I also made, but this one's got twice the charm if you ask me. She doesn't move as much either, but well... Now that you've seen the merits of Meowtilda, I'm sure you can't resist the urge to try golems with us. So that's why you're here. To get drum gumdrop back. Well, too bad. She's working for me now. That's no fair! You set yourself I'm the one who made her! She's my thing! And you even replaced all her parts! So, so I can enjoy them all over again, right? Right? No, I don't want anyone eating her again. It was kind of messed up. Huh? It's just candy. Listen, I'm not trading Gumdrop for your dummy candy doll, so quit hanging around here scaring off paying customers. Sophie, come in and make us purchase. You'll forgive us. 
What you do to words is unforgivable. <laughs> Meow. Ah, sweet Matilda, you've fallen to pieces. I guess the only option left is to eat you and then buy some more candy. Fine, come in. Just don't try to steal Gumdrop while I'm not looking. I don't want to have to walk all the way back to your house to bring her back. Of course not. That would be candy napping, yeah? Syrup, have they returned to taste the new limbs you made for me? Oh my god. They're just buying some candy. I won't let them touch you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I I do not like these customers. Ugh, what's this pain in my chest? Hearing her say that could have hurt somehow. Isn't it a curse? Can she do magic too? I think what you're feeling is guilt now. Looks like she really didn't appreciate you eating her up before. Didn't you say that was your purpose as candy though? I only want to be eaten by syrup! That's not fair! I'm sorry if I treated you kind of bad, but why does syrup get to eat you and I can't? I'm not eating her. She's just confused, I think. And now she's traumatized because of you two, so hurry up and buy something so you can leave! If you want- if you just want to get rid of us, but You just want to get rid of us, but fine, whatever. Are you okay? She is not going to hate me, so I am fine. If she hurt you, it's okay to hate her, you know? Ship. Even someone who did something that hurt you? Why would you want that unless you're still taking orders from her? I do not understand it very well myself, but those are my feelings. You're the only one who did that to her. Well... What, like you did? Th that's different. Uh, she can deal. Take all you can carry. I don't hate you. Look into the crystal ball. When have I- What have I ever not worked hard for you? Come on, Sai, give me a little more credit. Fine, I'll give you a break today. Gumdrop, what would have been Pastel's job is now up to you. Could you take a serving of this stuff to Butterscotch for me? Is this request a very important one? Oh, sorry, I forgot it's probably a little uncomfortable for you to get- for you to go to her house, considering. I will go. She helped with our mission, so I am sure she is not a bad person. We cannot change the past, but I do not wish to spend so much energy worrying about what she might do. Maybe we might also be able to get along. That's mature of you. Thanks, Gumdrop. Sharing with your rival? That's pretty generous of you. Well, she did show me something important, so it's the least I can do. Huh? Here, take a look. Uh, that's- So, how come you never told me? I couldn't. I know how much you hate magic users if I kn if you knew I was one. Dude, you're like family. I would never hate you. I'm honestly more upset with myself, knowing there was an entire side of you that you were too scared to show because of the stuff I've said. Don't worry too much about it. I'm just sorry I couldn't tell you myself. For you to find out like this. It's not like I was completely blindsided. There were plenty of things to clue me in. I just sort of ignored them, I guess. So, why'd you go through all the trouble of making a golem for me? Ever since we came to this town, you've been really bitter. You weren't connecting with anyone except to antagonize them, like with butterscotch and toffee. Hey, butterscotch started it. Still, I wanted you to have a friend you could open up to, so I decided to make one myself. She didn't turn out quite right, though. I'm really sorry that all she wanted was for you to eat her. 
Nah, it's part of her charm. Aside from that, though, it's clear you know my taste very well. Just looking out for you, that's all. Thanks, Pestile. I should be the one ta thanking you after you risked your life to make the ultimate sweet for me. It wasn't just for you. Now that I know I can make it, we can start sharing it with everyone in town. Oh? You're sounding uncharacteristically char charitable, Sai. All the effort it takes only makes it more expensive. The people have to be convinced by the free samples for it to work. And when it does, we'll make a fortune. So that's your scheme, huh? I should have known. I don't think Butterscotch wants to make the trip with me a second time, so I'll need to find someone who's pretty good with magic to watch my back. Know anyone? Are you hiring me to be your magic bodyguard? I accept. And so, Syrup and Pastille teamed up to gather more and more rare ingredients from dangerous places so that Syrup was able to make all sorts of luxurious specialty candies. Gumdrop diligently looked after the store while they went off on their thrilling adventures together. Syrup and Pastille had taught her well. Butterscotch felt a little lonely with her rival away, but she was always happy to see Syrup return each time with sweets even more delicious than the last. Pastille end. Yay! Oh hey, let me get a screenshot. No hey, wait. Hey, wait. No, I was gonna get a screenshot. I forgot to get a screenshot. But hey, I could just do the ending again, couldn't I? Let's do that again, real fast. In that case, just okay. So your point. Sorry, I just wanted to get the screenshot. I forgot. I completely forgot. Wait, I could just do that. I could just do that off. Why am I recording this? Why am I- why do I record- why am I recording this? Uh, agree to help. She's not for sale. Working with you. Let her help. She can deal. Take all you can carry. I don't hate you. Into the crystal ball. There we go. Now we got it. Let me get a screenshot of this. Sorry about all that. I don't know why I decided to record that, but whatever. I wasn't thinking. But now I have a screenshot for the thumbnail. Yep, 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 yep. Pestile's far too compassionate. It's okay to be a little more selfish, dude. Uh, <laughs> well, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. Next episode, we will be doing Toffee ending, Toffee's ending, and then we'll start doing all the bad endings. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this and would like to see more of this game, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye